Have you met with the FBI about the emails? <laughs> um, well, as I've said, I can't uh, comment on an ongoing investigation. Well, at least you called it an investigation. So you're off the reservation there. So it's not just a, uh, what, did, what did you call it? A security inquiry. review, I think. Because Comey yesterday said, I don't even know what that is. There's the, the word investigate is in FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigation. This is an investigation. So he cleared that up. And, you know, the, the uh, certain news networks have gone back and uh, framed the 10 or 15 times she, she has said either security re review or security and, mm -hmm. and play it one after another. And then they, they've superimposed Comey saying it is an in investigation. See, now, I'm just, I understand politics. And even back in Lincoln's time, politics. But here's, here's a question and, that I think is partly responsible for, for the high negatives for Hillary or for the, the crooked Hillary or dishonest sort of uh, word that you always hear attached to that name. So you couldn't really join the State Department, and I don't know whether that was just because of bad blood between you and the Obama administration or whatever it was. But then you're representing some clients in Libya, but still able to influence the Secretary of State and on the payroll of, of the Clinton Foundation. Is that all above board? I mean, it, it, does it just look bad, or is it actually, is there something there that, that, that's unethical? Well, that's not really an accurate okay. representation tell me, tell me of what talk. happened. But okay. let, me, let me just say that I testified before the Benghazi committee. I answered all their and questions. Very, and they, they said it was, uh, I, I read, it wasn't televised, but they said it was a very cordial uh, I testimony. testified for nine and a half hours. Yep. Uh, I wanted it to be public. Second I came out, I said I wanted it to be public. On the question of uh, uh, so-called clients, um, I had no contracts with anybody. I didn't uh, invest in any... Buddy, I, uh, uh, no one made a nickel, uh, no one spent a penny. So, uh, and um, I had a real job at the Clinton Foundation working on educational projects. That was a separate matter. All these were, um, Should we think all these were clarified. You weren't getting paid by Libya? No. Should we think that, that there was ever influence in, in, the, in State Department affairs that uh, were influenced by donations to the Clinton Foundation. I don't know whether we've totally vetted whether that's, it certainly has the aura of perhaps there's something untoward going, or at least certain people think that in certain circles. Well, I think that the uh, reports show that, um, that there were not uh, 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 donations uh, to the Clinton Foundation that had any influence on State Department policy. And, um, you know, about the Benghazi committee, I've urged for the release of my transcript. I've always right. urged for it. So How, I want it to be completely public. How would we know that donations wouldn't affect policy? I mean... How would you know? Yeah. Well, I think that uh, there have been some examples that have been um, uh, reported and uh, in the Times, and um, they have been uh, debunked. Uh, Even in the uranium, are, all that, yeah. Are, yeah. are you, are you or, or the Clintons at all concerned about this, this film that, that's coming out, I think, in the next several days from Cannes, a documentary about the Clintons and the money? I don't know anything about that. <laughs> okay. Mm.